Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary Reaver. Last time I showed you Bronze and Microblocks, which are from the Red Power mod. And this time I'm showing you something from one of the other four major mods, Buildcraft. And the founding stone of Buildcraft are these. They're gears, wooden gears. And I'll just uh, make four of them. They're four sticks laid out like that, and you upgrade them by putting the gear in the middle and stone and then iron, gold, and diamonds around the edge for the different tiers of build craft machine. And what we're building this time is the, the very basic one, the redstone engine. And redstone engines provide build craft power, as do the, the uh, upgrades, steam, and combustion engines. And the way they work is if you provide us a redstone engine with redstone power from a torch, for example, or a lever, pressure pad, anything like that, although pressure pads are really quite ineffectual as are buttons, um, it will constantly generate power as long as it has something to power. I'll show you the other ones when we get up to that point where they're necessary. But the next thing we're going to be making uh, are pipes. And you use pipes to transport things around, and there are lots of different kinds of pipe. For now, uh, we need wooden transport pipes. And I better make a few of these. And cobblestone transport pipes. And they're also smooth stone pipes, or just smooth uh, stone pipes, which are smooth stone. You can also make them using gold, which have additional abilities. Uh, just replace the outer two with the glass staying the same. But for now, we just need wooden ones. So, wooden ones don't work unless they're powered by a redstone engine, and that is, believe me, one of the most annoying things about build craft. See I've got a um, macerator here, another redstone thing there, and I want to hook it up to this. And wooden transport pipes oops, extract blocks, or extract things from from uh, machines or chests. So anything that can be extracted is because of these. So I'm laying the pipe underneath here and pumping it into this chest which is at the moment full of random crap but that is something I shall deal with. And now I'm heading up onto the roof because I'm rigging it up to pump items from that chest into my macerator. And I've left a little extra space here because the items have an annoying habit of not going in. I really don't know why they do it, but you can create this little loop here, and if the the item can't go in, it will circle around until it can. And there is an upgrade for this that I shall get around to installing at some point, but for now this shall do. And oh yes, I need that there. And now both of these are powered, so if I put something in this pipe, it should happily send it round and macerate it, but I have nothing that can be macerated. Screw it, I'll use a brick for this. So if you put the brick in there, or I'm going to be using this to, to yeah, for ores, ores and anything else I want macerated, it'll take it out of here, and it is slow, and uh, 
I shall be back when it has reached the macerator. Here, it's just gone in. There, all right, it's not going to macerate that. I'll just... There, see, it wouldn't macerate the brick, so I put in some sandstone. And it finishes it, and it should, there, extract it because of the the wooden pipe. And that pump, that pipe will pipe it all the way over here and chuck it into this chest. And I'll, I will clear that chest out. And the result is that I put in the ore, the ores here, and they'll come out here. And I won't have to keep running in there to to macerate stuff. And here's a, a good example of how the engines power up. It starts off blue, then it goes green, and then orange, red, and finally flashing red. And on the redstone, that just means it's speeding up and powering up, and it'll work more efficiently. On the others, however, you need to worry when it gets flashing red, but that's an issue I'll explain in a future episode. So I hope that this was useful. This does the basics of build craft, uh, the piping. I will, I'll probably do a, a future one covering all the different kinds of pipes, but for now I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and favorite and all that stuff. Bye-bye.